Thank you guys for joining me here. I'm at the Montezuma castles. Just checking out the castle. There are some, you know, ruins by the Native Americans. If this is your first time on this channel, please go right ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss things like this. Yes, we are here in Camp Valley, Northern Arizona, and this is the Montezuma Castle. The castle was established way back in 1906, and they're the third national monument dedicated to the Native American culture. So they were a 20-room high-rise apartment, and as you can see, they're nestled over a limestone tower. So that white matter you're seeing there, that is limestone. <laughs> Initially, when I heard about Montezuma, I actually thought it was related to Emperor Montezuma of the Aztec. But no, that's not correct. They were named Montezuma by the Europeans because they thought the Aztec had something to do with it. And as we all know, Montezuma was like a pop culture back then. So everybody thought everything native had to do with Montezuma. And they thought these dwellings were part of that, but they were not. On the fourth floor, you will find a concerned mother scurrying to reach her adventuresome son, precariously balanced on the edge of the roof. On the third floor, an aging man leads his blind wife across the balcony. You'll also meet women busily preparing food, getting supplies from storerooms, making pottery and grinding corn. Usually women ground the corn, their staple food, only in small as needed quantities and prepared it in various ways. Weavers use the second floor loom to weave cotton breech cloths, bags and blankets. So as you can see, this particular area is still under excavation, so it's protected. And you can see how this dwelling was constructed using limestone and boulders. So the limestone is like the glue that is holding those rocks together when they're doing the construction. So this is pretty interesting because we're still using the same techniques of using limestone to hold together bricks or rocks as a glue. So this is still, we're still using the ancient technology uh, in our building construction right now. So this is pretty awesome. And they're still, still doing excavation here. And you can see the alcoves up there. Those are still dwellings that they had. I think I've got a beehive there. Let me zoom it in. There's a beehive there. So when you look at this castle, uh, it is pretty much uh, a complex apartment building that housed several families. And the use of limestone, which is a technique that is very ancient, is still being used up to now. Um, these are some of the well-preserved uh, monuments or sites here in the United States. And Montezuma Castle, this is a good place to come and just understand the ancient culture and how they survived the harsh realities of the desert here in Arizona. Um, a lot of the Native Americans, they still come to this place to perform their ceremonies and, you know, religious ceremonies on these grounds. So these grounds are still sacred. So when you look at the building and construction here at the castle, it actually depicts some sort of technique, you know, in stone and mortar masonry. Uh, because they're still using the technique or they use a technique that we are still using now, you know, in terms of um, using limestone to glue together the bricks and the stones and all that. And this is a kind of architecture that have, has thrived over a long t period of time. Uh, even the roofing, they used a sort of um, tree or timber that is found only here in Kambari, and it's called the Arizona sycamore. It's only find, found here in Kambari, and it's a hardwood, which actually played a critical role in ensuring the roofing is sturdy. Um, that is Beaver Creek behind there, and the creek actually provided water for irrigation and also some material for the construction, like clay and all that. So when you walk on this ground, you'll see all sorts of uh, trees and herbs that were used for, you know, either for food or either for construction and all that. 
so i'm here at the montezuma castle guys and this has been a cool adventure just checking out some of um, the site up north here in arizona and the montezuma castles are you know some of the ruins that you'll find here in arizona they were the homestead for the native americans back then and you know some of these trees were what were used to anchor these you know the dwellings up there on the hills so the trees behind me let me show you the trees so those trees there they were holding the roof of the dwellings and those trees can stand you know many years of you know weathering and all that and that's what you know the natives use as um, the anchors for their roofs so this is pretty cool that had this opportunity to check the montezuma castles here in uh, arizona and just behind me here let me show you uh, behind me is the river that they used to flood. flood this river so they can use it to grow their their crops their plants their corn and all those kind of stuff so this was part of um, irrigation and also they'll uh, supplement their food with the game that they hunted out here in the Arizona wilderness so this is pretty interesting so these are the trees these big trees here they used it to anchor those dwellings up there in the mountains so the dwellings are all the way up there and they use these trees yeah so they call it um the Arizona sycamore that's the name of the tree and it can withstand a lot of withstand a lot of weathering you know and you know so what they're saying is that uh, these dwellings before they were taken over by the parks there used to be a lot of lootings from people who used to come here they loot a lot of um, things that were left behind so nice under protection which is good yeah so that's how it looks like one massive tree it's pretty big there's several trees but it looks like they're held into each other to make one you know quadruplets of trees you know join from one root yeah so that's the so that's the dwellings up there so if you look at the top of the mountains see the dwellings but this was awesome. Thank you guys for joining me here in Thick Museums. I had an awesome moment just checking some of these sites. So until next time, let's keep connected, guys.